Uh, welcome to another one of our videos and this is the 49er Baja 5B, the version 2 model. And this is what it looks like after two years of heavy bashing with it. And we're going to do a quick overview of it because I finally broke it and now it needs to be rebuilt. Can you see why it needs to be rebuilt now? There's a small flaw in the chassis. Goes up nice and straight. That angle, not supposed to be there. The way that happened is I took it down to the gravel pit at Nancy Green in British Columbia. And I was doing some pretty radical jumps. And I miscalculated on one jump. And I must have had air time of six to eight feet. And when it landed, it landed on the front tires and then it just buckled over and laid on its side and it was still running but my servo quit working and this is what I found you can see what damage happened here you can see the big split where it cracked this is the weak point of this frame because it comes up like this and then it just comes up as a nose piece I stuck a skid plate on the front and hoping I could like have not have that happen but if you're doing an eight foot jump with it it's gonna happen so this vehicle is going to need to be have a new frame in it it's going to need a new bumper in the front I'm going to change the exhaust in the back because that exhaust on it the dominator it's uh it's got good low-end torque and it really goes but I find after you do a few runs with it the exhaust just vibrates loose and it's a it's really a cow to keep it tight so I'm probably going to put a fast pipe on the back and then we'll try that and see how it works out and these front tires don't seem to grab too well on the dirt so I'm going to put some MX hostile knobbies on it and put myself in a Savax servo and the next video you'll see it in action okay for our viewers this is the exact location of where it's cracked. It's right there. It's cracked right through. When I headed up at the gravel pit, I was initially running it with the MX Hostiles, the knobbies in the back. I found every time I went up a hill, if I'd ever had quite sufficient speed, the tires would dig in and it would just bog itself down into the hill. So I decided to try to put my paddles on it, and this is what happened. The rocks were so sharp that it actually tore my paddles a bit. So a word of advice, uh, be selective on your tires.